Hello, what's up YouTube? Jim Russell, the musicologist here. So I have a very, very quick tutorial for Reason users. If you're a Reason user like me and you've been having trouble with locating the default scratch disk folder like I did, then you should stick around because this tutorial is going to help you. Um, I recently had run into a problem where I had uh, my drive C was, you know, getting filled up for no reason and uh, I got to discover that it was because my default scratch disk folder was located um, in my drive C so I had to do something but you know the problem is that reason just tells you that it's default let's go straight up here so let's go to preferences first and then we go to um, advanced okay when you come down here it just says uh, default but the problem is that this Reason does not tell you exactly where this default folder is. So you need to be able to look for it so that you can actually delete um, the catch manager folders that are in that particular location. Because if you don't, it's going to fill up your hard drive and you begin to wonder why you're losing, you know, hard drive space, you know, for no reason. So I had that problem. Now, the issue is that this default um, location is actually in your drive C. It's actually in your drive C, that's your system drive. So you have to look for a way to change it first of all, to get to know the file extension, the name of the file extension of the files, before you can, you know, take that, then we then copy that and then we paste it in the, uh, uh, what they call it, the um, search bar uh, of our drive C and then we can look at where the files are. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I mean exactly. So we, first of all, we have to change this. It just says default here. So you have to change this first of all. So we hit the change and then we go to, I've already created another folder in my drive E called reason 11. So I'll just say okay there. And then this is the new location for the, uh, for my scratch disks folder. So it says desktop, this PC, local disk E, and then it says reason 11, audio. So if we come here, if we go all the way here, there we have it, Reason 11, and this is the location. You have local disk E and you have Reason 11 audio. So if we click here, then we'll find, these are the files. Now these are the, uh, this is where my scratch disk location is. So these are the files that Reason generates, you know, when you are, when you open a song and you save a song and all that. Now the essence, why, the reason why Reason does this is because it does it so that when you try to load the song again, the song is going to load, you know, a little faster. But these files are not so useful and they tend to, you know, um, fill up your hard drive. So you can actually delete them. Uh, there's no harm in deleting them. I've discovered that there's no harm in deleting them. Now, in order for you to be able to know the exact uh, location of the folder, what you need to do, that's in your drive C. This is the one in my drive E. What you need to do, first of all, is to copy you know, the, the file extension of the um uh, uh of the files here so this one is known as a dot catch manager so all you need to do is go to your uh open up your drive c which i've already done here to make this video a lot faster so we we'll open up our drive c and then we'll type in dot catch manager right here just like what i did so you type in dot catch sorry let's do that again dot c a c h e manager and a g e r and then you click search and when it does the search it will uh show up these files that are right here that's these files here these ones you have here and then what you need to do is all you need to do is right click on any of them and say open file location okay so this is exactly the file location for your uh catch manager in uh, uh in your drive c you know you can see it right here you can see them these files are i wouldn't say they are useless anyway but they just fill up your hard drive for no reason and reason does not give you any direct you know um location it just says default in your preferences right there in reason let's go back to reason so that i can show you that so we go back to reason we hit uh edit we hit preferences we go to reset so if we reset this you just see that it's default right here it doesn't tell you where exactly where it is so that's how to know where 
these four these those files are um, actually going to so let's go back to uh, this folder right here so what you can do is delete them but before we before I end this tutorial let me just do this straight up so I'm gonna copy this location copy this location and paste it in my notepad so that I can show you guys exactly where it is okay all right okay so for me for my system this is exactly where my um uh this is exactly the scratch disk location that's the default scratch disk location so for your system it may be a little different but it's going to be look something like this. so you have c users jim russell that's my name app data local propeller health software reason and then you have jim russell and some numbers right here so yours may be similar so this is the exact location let me make this bigger this is the location for your this is the default location of your for your scratch disk folder and your drive c that has a tendency of eating up your hard drive space so i hope this tutorial will help some people out there if you've been having trouble with you know just losing hard drive space you know for no reason it's because of your your default catch manager is located uh right uh, in your drive c so you need to do something about it and um you know delete those files because in, in, when i deleted mine you know, I freed up about 14.1 gigabytes of hard drive space and it was really amazing. So I hope this tutorial has uh, helped somebody out there. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell because more is coming. Thank you very much. Jim Russell and I'm out.